Well, hello there. It's been some time. And I know it's been a long time since I've done an unboxing. But I decided to get back into it after having a kid and being a mom. And all these things, you know. Um, so today we're going to be doing a Sketchbox unboxing. Now this would be for the month, month of February. Right, we're in February, yes. February 1st. Well, today is February 1st, but that's probably not when you're going to watch this video. Um, Alright, so let's get to opening the box. This is the Artist of the Month, Christy Smith at Artsy Christy on Insta. Okay, so I haven't opened this yet. I literally just got it out of mail, my mailbox. You're probably going to hear my kids bouncy thingy making some rattling noise in the back or something. All right. Well, let's see. What, this feels kind of heavy, so I'm going to guess there's paint inside. Oops. Oh. All right. So what do we got? Let's take all this stuff out first. We go. Okay. All right, so we got a sticker. Okay, so this gives me a hint that we're on a charcoal stick. Oh my gosh, I I can't even tell you how many of these I have. I have like so many different colors too. <laughs> All right, so we got Prismacolor, Premier White. Ooh, okay. We have a Faber-Castell Pit Artist White. A white one? What? Never seen a white one. A white? Let's see how this goes. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of opaque. It's India Ink Waterproof. Maximum Light Fast, obviously. And these are chunky. <laughs> ah, chunky charcoal. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I've had issues with charcoal during my school years. <laughs> I bought so many of them. I had actually had so many left and my I gave a lot of them to my brother because then he was in school. So yeah, charcoal is not my friend. Uh, my fingers would stay black forever. And let's see, what is this? I can't open it. It's completely sealed. It says blue gray on it. It says warning cancer. Yeah, do I really want to open this? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Oh, it's a charcoal sketch set. Ooh, this is like a full set. Oh, this is good. Two pit natural charcoals, natural charcoal pencil, compressed charcoal, blending stump, and kneaded racer. All right, sugar. Mom is doing a video. Oh, but let's take a take a look at this. Well, this is beautiful. This is Bryce Widom at brycewidom.com. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and they have this. Let me not show you that. But they have this new thing that is something specifically um, paired with your sketchbox. So you have pair your sketchbox art supplies with QPixel app to create amazing art i have yet to try this there's a code on the back you use to uh get into this month's um session or like class or whatever okay so here we go we got the chunky charcoal Whee. oh this is a soft pastel oh okay that yeah see how it says it says warning Cancer. <laughs> Why would you want to use it if it says cancer on it? 
don't understand that. I don't understand that. You have to just have to put the warning label on there, right? And here is the toned paper. C titled B. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a pretty backdrop, especially for something in the sea. All right, sugar booger. Okay, so yeah, this is for February sketch box. Ah. And then you have the trio sharpener. This sharpens pretty much anything and everything. Big and small, as you can see. Wait, can you see? Here we go. Got a big, small one, big one. And then this is specifically for color. Okay, so this is... Curious, curious about this. This is Create a Star Flight White with this. It's a flexible Lila. So this is the... Okay, so here I am. I'm opening the box of the charcoal is start a drawing set and I love using the charcoal stick it's very lightweight very simple it's easy to get your hands just start drawing without having too many constraints as you would with a pencil so I started sharpening up all the pencils you know some were a little difficult than others and but I finally got it where I liked it now, I really hated this picture when I first started drawing it. I wanted to give up, but I just wanted to draw. That's all I wanted to do was to draw. So I just kept drawing, whether I liked it or not. And that's the whole point of art, right? To keep drawing and do what you love, regardless of the outcome. Some people beg to differ, but I just want to draw. That's all I want to do is draw. So I started liking the initial sketch that I did, but then I started hating it. I got my proportions pretty good. Um, the only issue that I had was getting in the details. And sometimes I tend to overthink it and I'm trying really hard not to do that, but it's, it's just habit forming, right? You have to just change your habit. So it got to the point where I liked what I was drawing and it just started changing, I guess, as I got more and more into it. And you'll see, I started actually um, getting mad at myself and I, I do this, like I get really physical in my drawings and I try to, I basically take out my frustration on the drawing itself. So... <laughs> I start getting mad with it and I'm like, oh, this is not right. I mean, just redo it again. And then I keep doing it over and over and over and over again. And finally, I was just like, ah, oh, screw it. And let me just do what I want to do. And then I started going over it again with a pencil. And I was like, all right, let me, let me go more into detail with the pencil. And I start hating again. And I was just like, oh, this is very frustrating. But keep in mind, I haven't drawn like this in a really long time. My daughter's going to be one. And being pregnant, I pretty much didn't draw at all. And so I haven't drawn probably in about two years. So it's kind of just getting back into the habit of drawing and this so i started actually liking this and then i started getting mad at myself again don't ask me why i don't know i should have just left it the way it was and i was like ah oh, i started getting frustrated and now you'll see i turn to the dark side in the literal sense the dark side <laughs> i i made this so dark because i got so mad but just goes to show don't give up. Just keep trying at it. Keep doing. You might find a different style that you like. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check in on my social media at Art by Minnie Brown on Insta and Minnie Brown Art on TikTok. And yeah, definitely uh, 
check it out. I also have a little shop that I like to post about. It's artbymanybrown.com. To be honest, there's not much art in the literal sense, but there is a lot of art goodies per se that I make by hand on there if you wanted to check them out. I will pull the link, put a link in the description below for all the materials I used today. And thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.